Okay. There seems to be a lot of misconceptions where fleet carriers are concerned. When they first announced them, it was a wonderful thing and YouTube pretty much exploded <coughs> with all of the plans for loading up a couple of dozen assorted fighter craft and some friends and go and flying your fleet carrier off into a uh, conflict zone. And just going in blasting like a <laughs> like your own personal private capital ship. <laughs> and that didn't happen, did it? Hmm. And there were also pl the plans of outfitting your carrier for mining and dropping off into dropping your carrier off into a asteroid ring or belt. And just basically is just shoveling everything in and and spewing out a pile of dust and and stripping a asteroid ring effectively bare in a matter of minutes if not hours. And that didn't happen either, did it? And everybody complained about all the promises made that weren't kept except uh, none of that crap was ever promised. None of that crap was ever promised. It was ever even hinted at being possible. Now, you can park your carrier, you can get your carrier near a conflict zone as long as there's, as long as it's near a planet or something, you know. But that's about it. You're not, you can't fly your carrier anywhere. <laughs> You can't fly it around like a regular ship. And the developers said so to start with. No, that's not going to happen. We've got you safe and sound. Clouds engaged. Our services are... But everybody knew better than the developers did. It's like, oh yeah, well they say you're not going to be able to do that, but you'll really be able to do that. Bullshit. It don't work that way. A fleet carrier is... a personal, semi-private station. Well. You can go into a system like I'm at right here that doesn't have a, a station offering, you know, docking for large ships, but I can still dock large ships. I can carry all of my ships, or most of my ships, around with me, everywhere I go. You want to make money with a fleet carrier? You can do that. You really, really can. It's called right here. Commodities market. You make money with a carrier by having something that somebody else wants at a price they're willing to pay for it. Which means that if you're not very active, if you're only on every, you know, a couple of hours a week, you're not going to have much of anything there in any kind of quantities worth the trouble of anybody coming after. Now, most of what I've got in here, all, all of the stuff up here and up, and the legal drugs and all of that, that's all, that's all stuff I carry for, I, I keep on hand for BGS action. Because I get a lot of missions offered for, okay, so, you know, source and return missions. I do a lot of those. Well, they want beer. I've got beer on hand. They want booze. I got booze. 
They want narcotics. They want drugs. They want tobacco or wine. I got it on hand. They want, you know, <laughs> food cartridges or coffee. Or <laughs> I love my coffee or tea or whatever. I got it all on hand. So, most of the things that they're going to give me for a mission, I've got it on hand. And I'm, what, maybe eight or nine million meters from the station. Which means that if I don't feel like farting around with would-be would pirates and such, I don't have to. For the you know, for the most part, because I can, I can, I get my missions. I come right here to my carrier. I get whatever I need out of it. I jump back into Super Cruise, and I'm at the station by the time the pirates figure out where the hell I'm at. By about the time I get the message of "Ooh, I was looking for you," is when I'm dropping out of Super Clu Super Cruise to go in and dock at the station. I, I mark the reason I list them in here in the market. I mean, I know darn good and well that no other player is going to come and pay me, you know, 3,700 and change credits per ton for coffee. But it makes it it makes it easy for me having it having it sitting here where I can see the amounts makes it easy for me to see how much I've got on hand. And when I need to go get more. Like right now, yeah, I kind of need to go pick up more grain. I'll get a mission for some grain and I'll go pick some up. And restock it. Things like the microwave, co microwave cooling hoses. Well, I've got, I've got those because I've collected them from, from missions. I do a lot of mining, so I put the stuff that I've mined in here on for sale. And when it reaches when it when it reaches a big enough amount or whatever, like like the platinum, when it gets gets a big enough amount, and the price is up high enough because my carrier gets listed there on on Inara. If they can make, if somebody can make money on it and they're willing to come pay my price, hey, I'm cool with it. Bring it on. Until then, well, it's just sitting there until, uh, until I either need it for something, want it for something, or say, screw it, I was enough there to be worth the trouble of, of me hauling off. Because I'm a lazy bastard, I admit it. I don't want to work that hard. The same for all of this other stuff. I like mining. I enjoy it. I mine because I can. And I dump whatever I pick up in here. And if somebody wants it, they can come get it. And that's, and my carrier has paid for itself many times over. I mean, dumping stuff in it's easy enough. Just... Point, 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 point. Transfer. Point, point, transfer all. Yeah, I got the a little bit of a little bit of illegal stuff in there too. And I'll I'll it's a secure trading. And I let that sit, and I let that sit there, and, and and stuff stack up until there's enough tons of that till I figure there's it's worth the trouble of hauling off. But that's how it works. I've got all my ships in here, or most of them. Stored ships, 34. I don't, I don't need to have the. You know, the thingy en enabled, the shipyard enabled, for it to store my ships in here. I can have 40 ships stored in this thing. I 
I can have 200 modules stored. That's not counting what's up, what's on whatever ships are stored in here. I go do combat bonds or bounty hunting. I can collect from bounty hunting. I go do some exploring. I can collect from that too. You know, just about everything there is to be that I need to do, I can do. With a, a, a good exploration ship, a decent mining ship, and this carrier, I could take off, leave, I could leave the bubble and literally never come back. Because I could make enough from exploring to cover my uh, weekly upkeep costs easily. And then all I'd need to do is, you know, I'd spend a day every two or three weeks or whatever mining tritium somewhere, wherever I find it. It's not like it's hard to find. But there you have it. You can, a carrier is a, it's a, it can be a very handy thing. But there's no such thing as do you need one? The question is do you want one? Because if you want one, you're going to figure out a reason to have it. And if you don't want one, then you'll figure out, then you'll come up with any number of reasons for not having it. And that's all there is to it. As simple and as complex as that. <laughs>